Good morning, y'all. This is Cherie with PassionatePennyPincher.com, and I've got sticks again. And y'all know if I have sticks, we are making something cheap but cute. So I want y'all to tell me if y'all think this is cute whenever we get done. So actually, let me tell y'all a little backstory. This came, this craft came because of pure laziness yesterday. I was like, okay. I was, I'm doing Facebook Live for Shannon today. This is her normal day because she's on vacation. We let her we let her go places sometimes. And I did not want to leave the house. And so I was like, what can I do? What can I do? And I was like, I know what I'm going to do. So I'm excited to show y'all. So let me tell y'all, we are going to do a little giveaway for the first person that I see. And I do not have anything to write it down, so I'm going to type it. But the first person that I see, tell me hello and good morning. I will, we're going to send y'all a little happy. And that is Pam Mitchell. Pam Dixon Mitchell. Okay, let me type your name down so I don't forget. Pam Dixon Mitchell. Okay, Pam, if you will send us, um, let me get your name, uh, email to shop at passionatepennypincher.com. We will send you something really cute and fun and I don't know what it's going to be, but our little fairy Stacy will send it to you. All right, I have got sticks from my yard that I gathered before our rain came in and I have a vase. Now this vase I've had for a million years. It came from Southern Living at home. You know, that doesn't even exist anymore. And I just put a cute little jute bow on it. So I have three sticks here and I'm just going to stuff them in here. So I'm way back. So it's gonna be hard for me to see y'all's comments, but I do I did pull my computer up. And so this I gotta get my sticks just right. And let me tell y'all, if you get if you just grab some sticks out of your yard, like that are just on your yard that have fallen off your tree, those work great, but they are more brittle. And so they'll break. So if you have some branches that you could just clip that are a little more pliable. I think it works better. So this is gonna be kind of crazy because I'm gonna be back here behind all of the sticks. But I want y'all to see it because you can do, anybody can do this. So let me pull y'all up so I can see what y'all are, are saying. And we will get started. So the other thing that I have are some Easter eggs. And these are just like styrofoam Easter eggs. And this is how the craft came to be. I had some extra Easter eggs after I did my decorating. And I was like, I know what I'm gonna do, and I'm so excited to show y'all. So I've got some pins, just straight pins, you know, whatever that you sew with, some people sew with. And then I've got some jute twine. You could use ribbon for sure. And actually, you know what? You could use pom-poms for this as well. Okay, I've got y'all pulled up, yay. So I've got some pom-poms. I'm not gonna use these, but I think Nicole is putting a post in the down below that you can see a picture of a finished one of these with pom-poms but today we're going to use easter eggs on this so what we're doing is we're going to make an egg tree so you know what hi i hope y'all y'all need to let me know i forgot our internet is being slow so y'all please let me know and i'll try to watch i meant to change over to data and i completely forgot so, I hope that it's working. Alrighty, so someone said they, I can't see it now, that they saw something about you spray painted. You can spray paint these white. I did that before. So, let me get started and hope y'all can see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of my Easter eggs and these are styrofoam. Y'all, I didn't think about this thing being in, in front of me. Let me move it to the side for just a minute. So, I have this and I have my... Um, twine. So I'm just going to cut off a little piece of twine. I hope, I think y'all can see. And this is how I did it. There's several different ways that you can do it. I just tie a little knot right here. If you can get your fingers to work. And then I take one of my straight pins. You can use hot glue too. I think I don't think it would melt your Balls, but this way I don't have to get burned and then right where the you know usually on the cheaper 
plastic or styrofoam eggs, you have a, you can see where it kind of all comes together. That's where I'm gonna put my pin and things. So now I have a little ornament and it's so cute. So I'm gonna put it on and you can leave your little ends there if you want to or if you don't want to, you don't have to. So let's do a smaller one. I've got some little mini eggs as well. So I'm just tying this and I've already pre-done some of these, so y'all don't worry. I'm not gonna be on here forever. We'll just decorate it. And then I wanna put it on my table and show y'all what it looks like, because this thing's big. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty big. Okay, so I've got one of these little ones. I also have these pins. I did not know these existed till I started doing flowers, but these are really short pins and they have a little pearl on them. And for your little tiny eggs, they, look, they work really well because that way you don't have to, the pin doesn't go all the way through. You don't have to like clip it with wire cutters or anything like that. So I'm just going to, oh, don't do that. Oop, that one's going crooked. Okay, y'all, this was so easy yesterday and now that I'm on here, I'm nervous. Okay, so here we go. We have a little baby and we'll put him right here. And let's see, I'm gonna do one more big one and then it will use the ones that I have already made. Good morning, Kathy and Lisa. Sandra, thank you so much. Um, let's see, good morning, Dina from Somerville, South Carolina. You know, I've been dreaming of a trip to Charleston I don't know if you're in, anywhere near Charleston, but I have never been to Charleston, and I've been been dreaming about it, been thinking about it. I think it's about eight hours from here. I'm gonna clip that one off. <clears throat> y'all, let me know if y'all's allergies are going to town and going crazy. Mine are out of control. All right, so here we go. Got another one. Another big one. Okay, let me, I'm gonna move this over now and we will start, now that y'all see how we did it, we'll start decorating it and y'all can tell me where, where all I need to put my eggs. So I like, yesterday when I first started doing it, I was mainly just using my little eggs and then I added some big eggs and I was like, oh, I like the big eggs. So, Oh, Dina said, De Deanna said, I think it's either Dina or Deanna said that she had seen where you can spray paint the branches white. Yes, I did see that too. And that's what I did one other time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my big ones on and then we'll fill in with the little ones. So what I like to do is work in even numbers. And so I'm either going to put five or seven on here. I don't know yet. I mean, whoop. Okay, the big ones are heavy, so you can't, that's not gonna work down there. And I did not put anything down here to stabilize this, so you definitely, okay, y'all. You know, I had these in here and I wasn't gonna take them out. I had them in here just right, and right before live, I decided to take them out. Probably shouldn't have, but hey, there we go. Now, let's see if this one will go over here. And stay but yeah you could stabilize with um, well in this vase I would probably have to put like pebbles or something like that or sand you could definitely do use sand that would be good and I've even done this in a clear vase before so I think even that looks cool oh I have a pink one right there already all right so I've got pink right there I think I'll do, we'll see if this is gonna work, y'all. These are not the thickest branches either. So, I think it's gonna be cute. I want y'all to hang on, hang on till the end because I think it's gonna be really cute. I'm gonna try to move faster so I don't keep y'all all day on here. These little ones go on, I think, quicker than the big ones do. How many do I have? I have five big ones. I think I need I need another, I need some more big ones. 
Christmas Day really add the color. So I think we're gonna go with seven. Seven big ones, if I can get it. That's another green one. I guess it doesn't matter if they're by each other. I'm gonna try to get this down here. I'm trying to not, I can mess with it later, but y'all can see it's so cute. I'm excited. This is kind of a creamy. Creamy one. Okay, let me get back over here and see what y'all do. Okay, I can see it online and it's looking cute. Uh, Robin said she's got the same vase. Yes, I've had it forever. And it's been up in a cabinet that I have, you know, I just didn't even see. There went one of my branches that broke that's from these real brittle branches. Y'all, this, this just tells you that you can do things that are super dramatic, I guess, um, for cheap that don't hardly cost anything. I mean, I already had all of these things, so I did not spend one dime. I don't know if the Dollar Tree still has eggs, but you could definitely grab some eggs from the Dollar Tree. Okay, I need, I need one right here. I'm gonna try to get him in there without breaking anything. And if you really want an egg to stay somewhere, like you could do a little dab of hot glue. Like if he's gonna move on down, I can hot glue him later. Okay, let me get some more over here. I don't even know if y'all can see all the way over here. This branch kinda goes out. There we go. Oh, it's looking cute. I'm excited. So, and I hope that my internet is acting good because I'm gonna be so mad if it's not. Okay, we're just about done. And I know I haven't gotten to interact with y'all hardly any. Wendy said her kitties would never let this thing stay. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. We don't have any cats, so. Okay, I've got three more that are done. And I'm gonna walk around here and see, cause that's my front. Oh, I need some up high, don't I? I need some up here. I'll put one over here. And then maybe right here. And that's it, y'all, this is cute. So I'm gonna move it over to my table. I'm either gonna put it like where I am right now is my island, which it could definitely stay here. If you were gonna put it on your mantle, I recommend making your back flat, like where I am, because unless you have a really deep mantle, because I've done it for my mantle before and you have to like really maneuver your branches around. So, but it works, it definitely would work. And it looks really, really cute. My internet's acting up y'all, I'm so mad. I'm so mad at myself because I knew it was and I didn't. Um, I didn't do what I was gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna move y'all over and let y'all see my table. And I'm so, I'm so sorry that my internet is acting up. So I'm gonna go put this on my table. Let me move this. Okay, y'all, last week we made this and it's still going strong. It's so cute. Nicole, if you'll put the link to this in there too, it has peeps. But, um, that's another cute idea too. So can y'all see, let me go ahead. Oop, that's not gonna work. Put y'all. Y'all, this is, this is, I'm living precarious. I've got y'all on a stool. Let me move this. So there it is. What do y'all think? Y'all give me a heart if y'all think that's really cute. I think it's cute. I've got some other eggs in a basket behind there. Let me see if y'all can see. Maybe, is that too close to see? This is probably better. Let me shut this. There we go. I know it's kind of dark, 
But anyway, y'all get the picture. Y'all, this is cute and cheap. And I hope y'all will make one. If y'all make one, post a picture on our Fashion Penny Picture wall. We would love to see it there. And y'all have a great day. I'm, I do apologize for my internet. I hope it wasn't too painful. But thanks for watching. And I will see y'all again on Thursday. And y'all, we're launching our locale meals. They're coming this weekend. So Laurie and I will definitely be cooking Thursday and Friday and making some yummy recipes from our locale um, series. So y'all have a great day day oh judith mm -hmm. you want to see the tulips yes hold on let me bring the tulips back around the tulips y'all these are so cute all right let's see can you see here we go y'all i am not a camera person we do have a post on the tulips and now these looked cuter before they started going saggy and everything but there that is such a fun one to do as well actually both of these are really fun and cute so anyway y'all have a great great day and i will see y'all later bye